Good afternoon, I'm Debbie Das. And I'm Mitch Crispy, and this is Wolfpack News for Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. If you're going into a career in medicine, sign up for Dr. Rubin's mini medical school to get experience. The program is designed to encourage high school juniors, seniors, and advanced sophomores to pursue a career in medicine and surgery. The program is 20 hours long, divided over six Sunday afternoons from 1.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. To apply, go to minimedicalschool.com. Applications are due next Thursday. Juniors interested in taking the PSAT or NMSQT need to sign up online by Friday. The test is next Wednesday at OEHS during the school day. The test is optional. The PSAT is a practice SAT exam and a qualifying assessment for the National Merit Recognition and Scholarship. The Science Olympiad meeting is tomorrow after school in G238. Please bring your club fee and your permission forms. It is not too late to join. See Mr. Johnson or a board member with questions. East is offering tutoring in many subjects. Check out where and when you can get homework help. The 100 Black Men of Chicago is hosting their 13th annual College Scholarship Fair Saturday at the UIC Pavilion. Participating colleges and universities will provide millions of dollars in scholarships and grants and thousands of college AC acceptances, acceptances to attending high school students. For more information and to register that for this event, please go to www.100bc.org. There's a free program from the University of Chicago. Splash Droplet is a one-day program for high school students to learn about interesting topics they may never have seen in high school before. Droplet is completely free to attend. This event is November 14th, 1 to 4 p.m. at the University of Chicago. For more information, please go to splash.uchicago.edu. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for membership in NHS. All materials are due to Ms. Calvi in by next Thursday. The next Mandarin Club meeting is this Friday in J103. The joining fee to participate in every event all year long is $15 due Friday. And now it's time for sports. Here's Alexa. Volley for the Cure shirts are in. If you prepaid, be sure to seek out the player you purchased the shirt from. Shirts are also for sale during lunches for $10 with all proceeds going towards a cure for cancer. Please wear your t-shirt and support volleyball program Thursday night at OHS. Freshmen and sophomores will start at 4.30, while varsity will start at 5.30. Varsity Volleyball lost in three games to Plainfield Central last night. They played tough until the end. Megan Delaney had 12 kills, Caitlin Cole 8, and Sarah Schultz 6. Two aces each by Alicia Metzger and Alexa Jardinelle. Keep the score close. Make sure you support our Wolves at the Volley for Cure game tomorrow at OHS. Boys Bowling has a meeting tomorrow in F233 at 4.30. See Coach Ochoa if you have any questions. There's an informational meeting for girls bowling team tomorrow at 7.05 a.m. in the main gym. If you cannot attend, please email Coach Hillman at your earliest convenience. That's all for sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Debbie Das. And I'm Mitch Crispy. Join us again tomorrow on East TV. Don't forget to stop by our Twitter at Oswego East TV for daily updates. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.